And now, your first alert weather. Yeah, the showers and thunderstorms still with us here for tonight, and we are still getting some heavy rain, especially in the Snake Highlands and also some moderate to heavy rain still in Idaho Falls and Ammon in Iona this evening with more wet weather coming over the foothills out of southeastern Idaho, heading back through into Bonneville County and beyond. Right now, look at Viper Radar. I want to show you the thunderstorm that came through Idaho Falls it just opened up with the core of that thunderstorm getting right over the center of town. It's now in Clark County, pushing through Dubois and Spencer with the showers now also lifting out of Rexburg for the time being, but we still got more wet weather because it's coming down pretty good still in Idaho Falls and Ammon and Iona and areas on the eastern side of Bonneville County, and that's all still headed towards the upper valley as well through Rexburg. Quite a bit of wet weather coming over Highway 30 right now just to the west of Soda Springs. This thunder cell here that was to the west of Grace was still putting down lightning just a bit ago, but it has since lost some energy as the atmosphere has cooled tonight, and now it's moving over those foothills east and uh, eastern Bingham County, I should say east of Pocatello and Fort Hall. Then we look to the west of Fort Hall and Pocatello and Blackfoot. Still got some spotty showers here. Those are starting to dry up as well, but quite a bit of wet weather. I mean, these numbers are impressive and many spots getting more than these estimated rainfall amounts. This is just off the radar. So the, based on the radar data alone, we had over two inches of precipitation in Idaho Falls. That's rain and hail, but many spots around Idaho Falls reporting closer to three inches, especially for areas close to downtown. We got about over two inches of rain, two and a half inches of rain in Fort Hall and close to that also in Blackfoot when the system starting to ripped into Bingham County. We even saw a little bit of swirling in the clouds, but no funnel clouds, no tornadoes. 56 degrees right now at the Idaho Falls Airport, Yellowstone Highway right outside here still flooded and several of the underpasses in Idaho Falls also still closed. We got the winds currently out of the northeast at 8 miles an hour. Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam, we got 59 degrees winds out of the west at 3 miles an hour with rain showers in Rexburg at 53 and winds out of the west at 10 miles an hour. We have more of this unsettled thunderstorm activity in the forecast for tomorrow. And this is thanks to this area of low pressure, which is going to be diving into California, Nevada, and we're grabbing onto some moisture and dragging it up courtesy of that low in the jet stream. Our temperatures are staying pretty consistent here, highs in the 70s, but it's that thunderstorm activity that could really play with those temperatures. We're expecting to see more of this as we get through into Thursday as well as that low continues to deepen and heads further south towards Vegas. The thunderstorm outlook tomorrow. You see this dark green swath here? That's indicating a decent chance of some heavy thunderstorm activity in terms of the showers. So we expect to see a couple of good thunderstorms again in here for tomorrow. And that stretch is going to be from northern Utah all the way to Montana. A look at the Viper cast tonight. Thunderstorm threat quickly drying up as we get past midnight, but we get some spotty sprinkles in here for tomorrow morning with some cloud cover. We're going to be looking at mainly cloudy conditions and some chances of rain tomorrow morning. By the afternoon, there's still going to be a touch of sunshine, still trying to squeeze in here, just like we saw today. As uh, so we get to about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we're starting to see the thunderstorms build. We get more of those thunderstorms rolling in from the south to the north as we get into tomorrow evening. Almost the exact same pattern here with thunderstorms coming out of Utah and Nevada and moving right through the Snake River Plain, heading north towards Montana. We clear out as we get into Thursday. Thursday's looking a little drier. 70 degrees for Montpelier, we got 69 for Soda Springs, 75 for Preston, highs in Jackson at 71, 70 for Rexburg and 66 in Island Park with the lower 70s in Swan Valley. Jackson, unsettled weather all the way through the rest of this week on into the weekend and it looks like even Memorial Day now we cannot avoid the thunderstorm threat. Same thing here for Rexburg. We're going to be dealing with off and on showers and thunderstorms, especially tomorrow and Friday with partly cloudy skies this weekend and a threat for some wet weather. Moving into central Idaho, a high of 72 in Salmon, 70 in Chow the upper 60s in Arco. Salmon's eight-day forecast, we see highs in the 70s with overnight lows back to the upper 40s. And again, scattered showers and thunderstorms Saturday, Sunday, and Monday for this entire holiday weekend. Moving into the Snake River Plain with a high of 72 for Idaho Falls, 75 for Pocatello, and 70 for INL. Through the Snake River Plain we go with highs here in the 70s. We're expecting to see highs just shy of 80 as we get into Sunday and Monday for next week. But we are still fighting these thunderstorms off and on, especially for Wednesday and Friday in these extended forecast outlooks. Highs in Pocatello will be very close to 80 by Friday afternoon with a high of 78. We're looking at 75 for Saturday. And Idaho Falls still looking at a mess tomorrow. And again, 
Todd, we might see another couple of good, strong thunderstorms out there. I don't know if we're going to have a repeat of this one. What made this storm special is that it was a slow moving thunderstorm. Just sat. It was moving at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Think about how fast you drive on the freeway from Pocatello to Idaho Falls. I mean, this thing took some time to get up here. Yeah. And it was dumping rain the whole way up the freeway. And then by the time it got to us, it just came right over dead center Idaho Falls. And we rarely get a thunderstorm like that, mm -hmm. where it gets right in the middle of town with a hail core and that heavy, heavy, heavy Well, you had the, the intense returns on radar. You had mm -hmm. the purples and even the blacks that you don't often see. And I, then add what you just said. It just it was slow and sat. Yeah, it was slow and just moved very slowly right over the core of Idaho Falls. So we have all that urban area where you got streets, you got street drainage, yeah. you know, and all the street couldn't drains handle couldn't handle it. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, there we are with the flooding. Okay. All right. We'll be ready for tomorrow. Thanks, Michael. Social media use among teens has become controversial.